it's Alicia. How you doing? I uh, just put on this lipstick and it's a uh, Suva Beauty like matte liquid lipstick and then I put okay do you remember the do they still sell these? This is the Too Faced Melted Liquefied Long Wear Lipstick. I don't think it wears a long time um, but I put this over top because I wanted it to be more of this color instead of like the like the pinky corally red that the other one was and I think it looks really pretty and I Kind of my teeth. I was trying to figure that out before I started filming, but I didn't. So that's okay. Um, okay, so here's the deal. Here's the deal. Matthew, my person, has left the building um, and is going to be gone for a couple of days. And we've only been dating for four months, but um, I'm obsessed. And I uh, need to figure out what to do with myself while he's gone because while I definitely have um, things to do like reading and emails and catching up on work and resetting my PhD program, long story, um, I also want to do some creative things. It's a Saturday. I'm here. Our air conditioning is, is still out. Um, uh, Matt replaced a part on the air conditioning, and um, he it's cooled down one degree in the last, like, hour and a half. So, unclear whether that's actually going to be useful in any way, um, or if he's going to have to come home and fix it. Regardless, um, it's a little hot and uncomfortable to be doing certain things, so I'm, I'm picking something fun while it's light out, and then I'll probably do some worky stuff later. Okay, so here's what I want to do. I want to do a challenge for myself because I recently bought another uh, Build Your Own palette from ColourPop. Where are the, where are, oh, oh, the other one's in here. So I now have three Build Your Own, ooh, yeah, Build Your Own palettes. I have two of these Your Dreamy ones, and then um, this is just the outside. You put whatever colors inside. So this is the newest one that I built, and then I um, have these two as well. And so here's this one, and then there's uh, this one with these colors. Okay, so here's what I want to do. I want to see how many, and I also have some single shadows here from uh, Davina. Um, I've got their Sugar Shifters, their Willy Wonka guys, and then their Galaxy Shifters up here. So those beautiful guys. I've got a butt ton of glitters from Dear Katie Brown, which I love. Um, I also have some in palettes, but these are the ones that I have in singles. And then I have um, single eyeshadow. Ooh, I have a whole other palette. I have an Adept Cosmetics palette with single eyeshadows from Makeup Geek. Um, Dear, uh, not Dear Katie Brown. Um, it's Makeup Geek. Looksy Beauty, um, Feather River Body, which is now Sydney Grace Cosmetics, and then I possibly also have some stuff from Love Lux Beauty, but I think those are all highlighters. Regardless, I have some more single eyeshadows, and I want to see, oh, so these ones are from Sparrow Cosmetics, and then all these mattes and these shimmers right here, those are all from... Uh, Sydney Grace Cosmetics. So I've got all of these single eyeshadows, and I've seen some of my very favorite YouTubers, especially um, Anjeska. Anjeska. She's she's said how to say her name correctly. Um, her Americanized name is Angelica, um, but she's Anjeska. That's my best. That's my best try. Um, she's a YouTuber from Sweden, and she's. Oh my god, she's so cool. She's like a model and she works a full-time job, but she still uploads like five days a week, sometimes more. Um, she's kind of a nerd like me. She likes video games. I think she plays World of Warcraft. She's done um, video game inspired makeup, but she and lots of other content creators on YouTube have like tried to dupe out specific palettes. I want to do that, but I want to do it marathon style, so I want to see how many palettes that I don't currently have I could dupe out with the single shadows that I do have. My collection isn't crazy extensive like uh, Angela Mary Tanner. I follow her on uh, on Instagram, and she has a blog called 
our beauty cult. And she will do about a lot of stuff. But what I want to do basically is I want to see how many different palettes that I don't own I can dupe with my single shadows. So uh, I'm going to do that and we'll see how I do. And you can uh, play along with me and see how it's going. And I'll see, man, I don't know how much editing I can put into this to like put all the color names up. But I have a small nine pan eyeshadow palette that's empty. Well, it's not empty, but I can make it empty. And I can do a bunch of nine pan color stories in there and quads and stuff. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I think it'll be fun to just play with a bunch of makeup. My one hesitation is that I'm not sure if I have enough makeup wipes to like wipe off all the swatches and stuff. And um, you know, I'll just be going off of pictures from the internet to see what I want to dupe and so on. But uh, I'm excited. I think it'll be really fun and it'll give me something to do while I sip on my iced peach green tea from Starbies, which feel a little bit bad about drinking Starbucks after watching Kimberly Clark's newest video. <sighs> Crap. Yeah, so if you're down to check out some cool color stories and see what I come up with, then hang tight! And I'm going to do my best to do some cool editing and show the picture of what the actual palette looks like from, you know, the internet. And then what my palette looks like and put all the names up in case you're curious. Possibly swatch things out or maybe it'll be fun to just see them in the pan. But, uh, yeah, that's going to be my adventure today. So, I don't know how much lipstick has been on my teeth during this. But, uh, yeah, if you want to check it out, then it's happening. Okay, I'm back. So uh, I have done the first one and I'm just going to hold her up and kind of show some of the reflect in there. Uh, it's definitely not perfect. I thought I had more of the colors than I do. You can see I picked out a couple of duochrome guys. Um, let me actually move it over here and then over my face I can put the picture of the palette I was trying to copy. See, these two matte colors right here, they're both from ColourPop and they look really similar um, both to my eye and on the camera. Um, this one's a little bit more ready and that one's got a little bit more purple in it, I think. But really, really hard to distinguish between the two. I actually thought they had sent me two of the same one, and so I I checked the back of them, but they both have different names. Um, I'll try to put all the names up on the screen as well, but I was trying to uh, recreate at least the feel of the Natasha Denona Sunrise palette, and I used a combination of, well, I'll put the names up on the screen. So this is my first attempt, and uh, there are some really fo pretty foiled ones in here. I'll also um, insert a a swatch photo for you guys um, and, and show all the names. So if you had a particular color you wanted or were interested in, you could pause the screen and check that out. And we'll go on to the next one. All right, you guys, I'm back with a failure. If you can even guess what I was trying to dupe here, like I would be really impressed. Um, in the palette I was trying to dupe, which I'll put up in just a second, uh, there's also a black and a white, but I decided to leave those out. Um, I presume most people would have a black and a white in their collection, and if you look over there, those are a Deep Potted Lunatic Cosmetics uh, contour palette. There's like a white over there, and um, I've got a black right there from ColourPop, uh, but I just left them out and it made it fit better. So. <laughs> I was trying to dupe the new Anastasia Beverly Hills and Alyssa Edwards palette and uh, man, I'll, I'll try and put them up next to each other, but like I couldn't quite get this bluish color. The mattes I feel a little better about, except for these reds, that was like impossible because they're so pinky and they are pretty unique. Um, so like... And these aren't, obviously, they're not really lined up because I did throw that brown in there, so bear that in mind. But I'm not even going to swatch these because I feel like it's pretty far off. And, um, yeah, I really, I was looking at all this business and 
I really don't feel like I, I got this one. So we're going to, I'll put all the names up again, uh, but otherwise we're going to move on. Okay, it's several hours later, and I'm back again, and uh, this one I feel pretty good about. So here we are with these guys. Let me put them up and show you a little bit of what's going on here, see if you can guess what I was uh, working on duping, and then I'll pop it up on the screen. So uh, here I was trying to dupe the new Jouet Tan Lines Collection eyeshadow palette, which I guess has been getting crappy reviews, which sucks because it looked really nice. Um, it is a nine pan palette, uh, but it's all, well, you can see it. Um, okay, so I will definitely swatch these out. The one color I want to comment on, these ones here, I only, and even this blue one, a lot of these I only just got, but several of the mattes I think, anyway, I'll put up the names so you know exactly what they are before I talk out of my butt about them. Uh, but I wanted to show you, I have a couple of alternatives for this one. Um, so in the palette, it, you can see it on the screen, it looks a bit more greeny. So I picked this one because it's a blue with like a yellow, so there looks blue, and then it shifts yellow. I'm trying to figure out if I can catch the shift, but it's a duochrome, and she she has both the blue and the yellow in it, so when you sort of swatch it out, it actually looks quite green, especially in person, I can see the green, um, but I do also have a couple of other shimmery greens. This one is by uh, ColourPop, and this one is called La Playa, and it looks like pale whitish, but is actually also actually green. Um, and then this one is Gecko's Tail. Um, and this one is by Kaleidos. No. Cleona. Um, and this was also, it's part of the same collection. So there's that green duochrome and that one's got some yellow in it. So I didn't have one that was exactly right, but I did, I did have a couple of alternatives. So those are kind of the the greeny guys that I had, but I'll show you um, these guys with their shade names. This is fun, um, and while I'm doing this, I'm just kind of listening to other YouTube videos, which is keeping me kind of uh, company while I, while I do it. This one I, I feel like could satisfy uh, any looks that I wanted to do out of that palette, despite that green not being there, because I think that blue is just like popping. And the fact that I got this lime green, um, I feel like I could make any looks I wanted to with this one. So I feel pretty good about the first one, and I feel pretty good about this one. That Anastasia one was trash, though. So. Okay, I'll uh, put up some stuff, and then I'll come back with the next one. Hey, welcome back. Uh, well, I guess you've just been hanging out, but regardless, I'm back. And uh, I've now moved to the floor where I can really just get my hands in this and have my phone and my laptop plugged in because I've been doing this now for forever. But it's really, really fun. This is actually super satisfying. Um, I'm Right now I'm listening to Beauty News, and I like listening to those ladies because they tell me all the, all the new products and they give their opinions and everything. Um, I'm not super watching, but they also have a podcast version of their weekly updates, so I could just be listening to that. Anyway, all right, let me show you what I was just working on, and once again, give you the opportunity to see if you can guess uh, who I was uh, duping out here. Uh, yeah, that's my screen. All right, I'm going to try and show you this, and then I will uh, pop up the palette that I was trying to dupe out. So uh, now you can see that it's this new Tarte uh, palette. And here's why I'm annoyed. I feel like the mattes were, were pretty easy to find dupes for, but this one right here, this guy, uh, I'll, just, I'll just show you on the picture, so um, I'll make myself work harder to edit. But uh, the colors that are circled or highlighted on the screen or whatever, I was looking at the swatches, and the swatches on the Sephora site even, oh, let me let me look at it now, they, 
One looks a little bit pinkier and one looks a little bit more gold. And depending on the skin tone that you look at it with, they look, so they look the most different, different on the darkest skin tone. But on the lighter skin tone, they, they don't look quite as different. And so when I was looking for dupes, um, I was swatching them on my skin, and of course my skin is also lighter, so it was, sometimes I, I just couldn't really get them right. And those colors in the Tarte palette are Hawkward, <laughs> and uh, was it Hawkward? No, it's uh, Your Lion and Irrelevant, or Hippo hypocritical. Regardless, it's the shivers. But I feel pretty good with how it looks overall. Uh, I feel like I definitely got the gist of that palette. And I definitely would never buy that palette because I just, I saw Jen Lab's reviews talking about it and she was commenting that it wasn't performing as well as she wanted. Somebody else I was watching play with it. Maybe it was Raw Beauty Christie. Can't remember who it was. Or Samantha March? Oh, gosh. I don't remember who it was. But anyway, they were like, eh, this is just kind of like meh. So um, I feel like this is a decent option if there was a particular color that did stand out to you. So I'll uh, swatch them out, get the color names, put those up, and you can tell me what you think. Um, again, I don't think the mattes were particularly interesting, except this poppy one is kind of nice. And in terms of the shimmers... Uh, you know, I, I don't know. I just feel like I don't need to buy this palette because even just looking at this array, it doesn't really inspire me so much. Whereas I had specifically wanted to dupe the uh, Natasha Denona Sunrise palette because those colors did inspire me. I'm on the warm trend with everybody else. I did a cool tone look the other day and it made me feel like I looked like butt. So that kind of sucked. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and I'll show you the pictures are up and then I'm gonna uh, leave again, hang out on my floor and find more dupes for, I think I'm just sticking with more of the um, mid to higher end brands. And again, I probably have some other dupes for some of these colors in my actual palettes of which I have tons, but I'm trying to just only do it with the, the single eyeshadows. So hope you're having fun. I'm gonna keep going. All right, you guys, I think I'm done. So I've done one more, and we're going to play the guessing game one more time. See if you can figure out what I have duped here. The layout is definitely different. And there are a couple of shades that stumped me. <laughs> it was not, I really wasn't happy about it. Uh, overall, I think I got the gist here. Ooh, can you, okay, that's better. You can see, oh! <gasps> That just crumbled out. It's all in the carpet. Okay, well, I have a vacuum in here, so that's not the worst. But, oh, that's the second one of this that's broken. Honestly, I got this, oh my god. Man, it's a disaster. Let me, do I have my phone here so I can take some footage of the mess that just happened? I do. Let's see. Ah, uh, man, that freaking sucks because I, uh, I had already gotten a return, like Davina had sent me, that was a Davina Cosmetics eyeshadow in the shade Balsack, just kidding, sorry, Starfire, and I received two of my galaxy whatever shades broken from Davina and they were sweet and they sent me replacements but like man come on it just happened again and I'm not like treating them bad all right so regardless um I'll pop up what I'm uh duping while I'm just trying to pick up the shattered remains of this eyeshadow so I can still swatch it because I didn't do that yet um, and yeah, you can see. So the shades that gave me the most trouble 
and I would say like a lot of trouble were like uh, that stupid bottom right, and my palette is the bottom right guy. Um, I'll like pop up the name or something. It's, this is a disaster. Uh, gosh, darn it. Yeah, okay, so I had some trouble with this one. Um, I'm going to hold it up again without that Starfire color. I'm going to just set it aside and see if there's enough of a disaster down here for me to swatch from. Man, that's really disappointing because the... <sighs> Moving on. I feel like a lot of these are pretty good, um, at least at getting the gist of the palette. Um, and I just had wanted you to see... By getting a little closer like the shift on these two right here which would be the top of um, the shimmery side and then this is kind of more of the matte side um, I did go to uh, Christine's blog at Temptalia just to check out because on the Sephora site where I was looking at the palette there weren't any swatches it was just kind of you know the promo palette pictures so I went to Temptalia. Christine keeps a great blog. I check it basically every day. And she had swatches. So this warm taupe color, I don't have anything like that. And I swatched a bunch of stuff trying to figure it out. But I, I really just don't have that one. So some of this stuff stumped me and I really couldn't dupe it out. Um, but overall, like it was, it was pretty fun. And I feel like I got at least the gist of most of these except where I explained that I definitely failed um, and it yeah it's kind of cool to see in my collection what I have and kind of what I don't at least in single shadows because for example that Anastasia Beverly Hills bright pink um, that I couldn't get from the Alyssa Edwards palette I do have bright pinks they're just in um, other palettes same with like this guy right here. The reflect here gives you some of that bright pink goodness, but I, I'm sure I have a couple. Mm, yeah, this shifts from like red to bright pink. So I, I know I've got other colors like that in my collection, and I've got these other pinks. I'll hold up for you. These are both also from Davina. These are the Willy Wonka ones, though, so I, I don't think these are going to bust on me. But this one here is uh, Pixie Sticks. And that one's pink with a yellowy, orangey reflect. And then this one is Marshmallow Pillows. And that one has more of a purpley reflect on, the, on top of the pink. So I've got various pinks, but I, I guess I don't really have that, that bright, punchy pink, at least in singles. This does not make me feel like I need to go out and buy singles that I'm missing at all. Um, but yeah, it just kind of does show me that I have a lot of versatility, at least with these palettes that are all pretty new and uh, definitely money I don't need to spend. So I hope this kind of inspired you too to just look at what you have already. And obviously it doesn't have to be with single eyeshadows. It could be with your already existing palettes. And uh, if you have any other palettes that you want me to see if I can uh, give alternatives for just holler at your girl. Um, I will see what I can do. Uh, I've had one video requested so far ever and I put it up like a good little girl. So yeah, if you want to see anything else, if you want me to try and dupe a particular palette or a particular brand, even an indie brand that isn't listed here, but maybe is a UK brand or something like that, that we, it's not as easy to get in the US or elsewhere. Uh, that could be fun, too. So, um, yeah. I'm going to say goodbye now, check my teeth for lipstick, and, uh, you know, just wipe up all of the exploded eyeshadow. Uh, I've got to take a few more pictures of swatches, edit the, all the pictures, and edit this video. I'm excited. I know it's going to take a bunch of time, but it's been... I think it's been a pretty chill day to just relax, watch videos, listen to videos, and watch my dog sleep. Um, I'll, I'll put in a picture of her because she's looking real cute. And um, yeah, I hope if there's anything else you'd like to see from me or hear from me that you'll leave a comment. Uh, anything you want to say, I have no following whatsoever, so I can absolutely get back to you. And I just want to say thank you so much for hanging out. I've been Alicia, you've been colorful, and I will... Hopefully see you the next time I turn on the camera. Bye!